my colleague Christine Sinicki from the 20th Assembly District in Milwaukee. Uh, we convened a group to address the concerns our colleagues were having with the Republican assault on the working class as they continue to cut public education and support for public education. We are joined by many legislative colleagues and individuals who share our concerns and about the voucher expansion. And over here I want to introduce Representative Janice Ringhand from the 45th Assembly District, and she's serving as school mom today. <laughs> <laughs> Others who were instrumental in the effort will be speaking and will be introduced later. Thank you for being here to join us in presenting to Governor Walker and the co-chairs of Joint Finance the Stop the Voucher Expansion Petitions, asking to remove the voucher expansion in the nine additional school districts in Wisconsin. This is a continuing effort and petitions continue to come in as we speak. We, re heard, we repeatedly heard this request as we traveled the state hosting listening sessions. Despite the laudable goal of addressing the needs of educating low-income children in Milwaukee more than 20 years ago, the Republican-driven expansion of taxpayer-supported, unaccountable, private, and often religious education has only served to starve and decimate Wisconsin's once stellar public education system. That's right. Sadly, this is not an unintended consequence, but rather a deliberate effort which is growing throughout our nation. Voucher expansion is especially troublesome in view of the fact that voucher schools are doing no better than public schools, and often not as well. It is a fact that vouchers have not improved education in Wisconsin. Wisconsin cannot afford two school systems, both competing for our tax dollars. I believe that this is a watershed moment and we must act now to save public education. And it must be noted that as written, the budget language leaves open the possibility that with a few strokes of his veto pen, the governor could make statewide voucher expansion reality. What we need is strong investment in public education, especially now that revenue projections show that more than $500 million will be available. Superintendent Tony Evers' fair funding for our future would be a great place to begin that conversation, as would our Democratic call for an additional $275 per pupil, along with the rejection of this voucher expansion. the budget, legislators, both Democrats and Republicans, have been hearing citizens across the state calling on us to remove the voucher expansion from the budget. Our petition, petition drive has given a voice to those folks who otherwise are not being heard, and it is, as I said, an ongoing effort. Today, we will deliver these early petitions and ask that the, gov the governor and members of joint finance listen to the multitude of people who believe that this issue must not be disingenuously rolled into a $68 billion budget. If Wisconsin is to fully recover from our dismal 44th position in the nation in job growth, we must seriously invest in public education, give up feathering the nests of the wealthy campaign contributors, and build our future. And before I introduce the next speaker, this is, this is just a, a look at the vouchers. If you didn't sign one or see one, this is what they look like. And I'm going to tell you now how many signatures we have. If the school marm would help me. Is she Johnson? Another board. Oh, we're right there. We've got John. We have. Not Dallas. Not Dallas. She was a math teacher. 16,809. <laughs> 